Life in Abertillery was shattered on the morning of Saturday the 5th of February, 1921. Eight-year-old Frida Burnell was sent on an errand by her father. Frida was one of four children. Friendly and polite, she would regularly be seen playing in the street. The journey to Mortimer's was less than half a mile, but she would never return home again. This is just a girl who's, you know, uh, no older than eight, so we're talking about a young child here. But of course, you've got to remember the kind of community that we're talking about, Abitaleri, close-knit community, people looking out for each other, living cheek by jowl, everybody knowing everybody else's business. And so nobody would have worried about a child being sent on an errand. No one would have worried about children playing outside of the house. Well, Frida's father, Fred, offered to give her a penny extra pocket money if she was quick, because the chickens needed feeding, and he wanted poultry grit and some poultry spice. Well, Harold Jones told her that he had the spice, but the grit that she required in a 10 pound bag, he didn't have. She went out of the shop, he caught her up and said, if you go ahead to Mortimer's warehouse, at uh, Princess Street, which is about 400 yards away, he said, I'll give her the 10 pound bag that you require. Harold Jones took Frida to the store shed. It was only around the corner from the Mortimer's shop, hidden away in a back street. The little girl had no reason to fear Harold. He was no more than a child himself after all, and Frida was more than happy to follow him into the shed. Once inside, Jones launched a brutal attack on the eight-year-old. He sexually assaulted her, and to silence her cries for help, he grabbed a pickaxe handle and rained down a series of savage blows on Frida's head. The vicious attack took minutes. Jones then calmly closed the door, leaving his victim for dead, and returned to the shop as if nothing had happened. 